Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning what Redux framework tutorial for beginners. So guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that we have made under the playlist called Redux framework. So this is our part 3 of this video session series guys. So in this video session, we are going to create new sections and use we it with some new created fields. Okay, as well as we will see that how can we actually use those fields to access that value to our front end section. Okay, so in our previous video sessions, guys, we actually understood the basic concept of call file options in e.php. We actually understood about these all configurations of this file, as well as we have seen that how can we make our sections. Okay. So basically when we remove this section just I am removing all these sections just get rid of that. First what we need to understand that let's remove all these sections actually default provided by this setup. Okay. So now I have removed all the sections instead of this one section. So if I go to its front end just refresh this page click on online web tutor options and now you can see that only one options we have basic field. So let's rename to make it as called just rename and may, let's me call it theme option theme option let's say theme option panel one okay so when I refresh this page this is the panel so basically these are the parameters guys that we need to provide like title so when we just get rid of these things just remove all these things let's put it here okay and this is the id and this is the unique id all over into our redux framework setup okay so let's say that this is panel one okay and this is the very basic description section of this panel so just pasting it here so let's say within this double quotes this is description section that we need to provide so after meeting, making basic sets of configuration guys if we save this file go to browser and refresh this page so we can see that this is theme options panel one this is the title section okay and this is the id actually we have provided to this panel and this is the description section that we have written inside this desc key okay and icon should be e e l home basically represents this here is the icon as you can see this icon actually came from by using this el el dash home okay and now i have actually told you in the last video session that fields section will only render the sections within this panel so basically what we have written inside this fill section just scroll down and now we can see that inside this fill section we have an id called opt text this is the id of this text box okay and now which type of actually input we are going to use we are going to use input type text so this is why it is appearing as a text box okay so if we change into a text area so just save this file refresh this page now we can see that just press ctrl f5 to hard refresh and now we can see that a text area has been appeared by changing this from text to text area so just i am changing again into text just press ctrl f5 to refresh and now we can see that this is a input type text okay so example text is written inside this title this is the title actually provided to this input box okay so when let it rename like something like that let's say theme name okay and just I am removing this section from here just get rid of these things to make it much simpler let's say description section if I remove this thing also let's say that simple theme option okay and now I'm removing all these things from here so basically what we have provided we have made a section into the simple steps in which we have passed an idea of the option section ID title description icon this is the very basic configuration of this section right here okay and this is the panel provided by using field section this field section contains a text box which basically has the title called theme name when I refresh this page this is called theme name okay and this is the description box description section that we have written right here so now what we want when we put any string inside this text box let's say that we are using call 2017 
okay so let's say 2017 theme we are using okay we want to access this value right into our front end just I'm clicking on this visit site we want to access this option what actually we write inside this text box we want to access these things into our front end section so how could we actually we access those value to accessing those values guide we need to use the ID what we have created right here okay so let's say that panel text box ID 2 okay ID 1 sorry this is ID that we I have provided to this text box so when we actually we, when we want to access this value let's say within our file called footer.php okay I want that while making any changes to this text box while putting any values inside this text box I want to retrieve this value to this file okay so let me say that within h1 tag within h1 tag if I want to access this value I want to use this ID but the ID directly I cannot use I will use by the help of this global variable okay so just I am going to use this global variable just I am writing within this PHP tag let's say PHP tag defined as a global variable let's say online web tutor okay so just I'm making copy of this global variable within this h1 tag let's say that with this PHP tag let's say echo and now by putting single quotes within this square bracket we need to write the ID of what field actually we want to access this is the field actually we want to access the value from this text box we need to make the copy of this ID just copy and paste within this square bracket okay so just save this file when we refresh this page just reload now and now we have no value right now so just put like call Sanjay Kumar okay just I'm saving this value save changes when we go to the footer section of our created file just refresh this page once we refresh you can see this value right here okay we can access now values to our front end section by using any customizations from this theme panel but the thing that we need to understand with the help of this global variable called online web tutor what we have said when we actually understand about the basic series of configuration from this official website this is the use of this global variable to access all the values actually what we provide to this file and now the next thing that we need to understand is the ID of this text box okay so when we suppose change the ID something like two just I am reloading this page let's say just refresh this page and now when we change any value let's refresh this page once more let's say that a b c d e f just save changes now this is the updated value when I refresh the front end section I cannot get the updated value because the ID has been changed now okay to access this ID value just make copy of that and now we can change the value from 1 to 2 okay and now we can access the updated values right here okay so when we go to its documentation section click on fields if I want to use an editor into this panel so how could actually we use a editor to use editor just go to and click on editor right here now you can see guys that how actually useful resources the redux framework website has actually provided about its control by using this editor we actually get over access of this so just scroll down while scrolling you can see that it has provided a example declaration just make copy of these things just I'm copying this array so just make copy of this array value just make copy of that so just I am going to copy these things go to editor and now within this options init file I want to append this sections right in this panel Okay, so just put a comma here and paste the things that we have copied okay now we have a text area in this panel okay so when you go to front end section just refresh this page and now we can see that a new text area has been added into this panel and this is why the documentation section has guys a beneficial role okay so if we want to change any of the things from this now we can make customize to these things like this is ID by the help of this ID we can actually access the text that we can write inside this text area within this front end section 
okay so just instead of this changing let's say type equal to editor okay by passing type equal to editor it has actually provided this type of interface okay and this is the title so just I am removing all these things let's say that this is our sample editor okay sample editor just get rid of this description section subtitle so let's I am removing this subtitle from here okay and now this is default text let's say that sample text that we have provided okay and now you can save this file after saving this file just refresh this page after refreshing you can see that okay powered by redux okay it is not appearing why let me check that and I think guys actually our changes has been not been reflected to this file by using this ID I think so let me make it as a 2 so edit a text 2 so when we refresh this page and now we can see that powered by Redux 1 why it is appearing let me make it as a 5 just refresh this page and now this is the text that we have written inside this okay by default guys I think that I have created these IDs into the database field as well so by saving these changes actually it will take place into our database okay so now if we want to access this value to the front end by the help of this ID actually we can we can actually access okay so just go to it footer.php file now let's say that by putting br tag here let's say eco br okay and now just put a semicolon here and let's say that eco let's say sample content and let's say by concatenating let's say our global variable just make use of that paste it here and now we need to use the ID of the text area so if you go to the official documentation then you can see that while how can I actually use this editor by using the global variable this documentation how beneficial as you can understand this is the global variable and now by the help of this ID we can actually access this editor okay so just go to options in it make use of this ID and now just write inside this square bracket just save this file and let's refresh this front end section and now we can see that this is the value that we have provided within this text area let's say updated okay just click on save changes and now refresh on the front end section just control f to refresh and now this is the thing that we have updated so basically thing guys we need to understand that how we can actually make a section okay by making a section we need to put some of the options as something like this we are going to provide title id description icon as well as the field section field section basically used to render the things inside this panel so when we want to create a new section after this section so what we, i will do just make use of all these things paste it here when we refresh these things and now let me change the id of this let's say panel 2 okay theme options panel 2 so when we save this file just refresh this page this is the second panel that we have created theme options panel 2 so when we want to make a sub menu means I want to make this panel as a sub menu of this parent menu what actually I will do I put uh, another field called sub menu and put a value called true by putting true value it actually make itself as a sub menu of this parent section so when I refresh this page as you can see that actually it is not worked for a sub menu section so I think there is some problem so let me go that and okay guys actually instead of sub menu let's say sub section okay we need to make sub section equal to true instead of sub menu so when we save this file just refresh this page and now we can see that inside this theme panel one when we click on that this is theme options panel 2 which is appeared as a sub menu okay so this is the very basic concern that how can we make section and subsection as well as how can we put fields inside that as well as we have discussed in this video session guys that how can we actually use these field acts uh, these fields to get access over these values to our front end section okay so guys I think I have made much more clear concept about how can we create section as well as make use of fills to our front-end section by using this global variable okay so if you have any query guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day